Welcome everyone to what is going to be our first lesson of extra Afrikaans. Today we'll be, we'll be dealing with the simple beginning stages. We'll start with the alphabet. Now the alphabet in Afrikaans is broadly um, similar to all other main Roman alphabets, including Spanish, French, English, so on and so forth. Um, but of course, what you'll notice with these alphabets is although they look the same, the pronunciation of certain letters can be radically different. Um, and Although with Afrikaans, generally speaking, most of it's the same as English, there are some serious differences which give um, quite a quite a few challenges to to, to um, learners of Afrikaans. In fact, I would say one of the hardest parts of Afrikaans actually is merely mastering the sounds of Afrikaans. Because once you've got those down, Afrikaans in terms of grammar, etc., actually t um, ends up being pretty basic, uh, especially compared to other European languages. So let's get into it. Firstly, the features of the Afrikaans alphabet. The Afrikaans alphabet consists of 26 letters and the letters Q, C, X and Z are almost never used, um, it, although they do feature in the alphabet, but they um, are generally only used for, for foreign words, loan words, and Z especially will be used for old Dutch words like Zeit becomes Zeit and Zoot becomes Zoot, etc. But you'll learn more about that later on. Um, so let's jump into it. Firstly, I'm just going to give you a rough, a rough sounding of the alphabet before we'll look at um, each letter individually. And then after that, we'll turn it back again so I can remind you of the sounding, just so you can get, you can listen to Afrikaans as much as possible. Um, so we'll start with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, I, Y, K, L, M, N, U, P, K, R, S, T, U, F, V, X, A, Z. And now if we're going to speak the alphabet out, those are the names of the letters. But if we're going to look at sounds they make, we'll say A is A, B is B, C is S, D is D, E is A, F is F. G is G, A is H, I is I, E, Y is Y, K is K, L is L, M, M is M, N is N, O, U is O, P is P, K is K, R is R, S is S, T is T, U is u, f is f, v is v, x is s, z, a is a, z is z. Now let's turn to each letter individually um, so you can get a better feeling for them. All standard picture and letter combinations. So we've got a, and a is for, up, is for apple. A is for apple. The sound of the a is the same, the sound of a is the same as this, it's sound in English, A. Other examples of, of A would be Avontir and Axi. Next, we'll turn to B. B is for, is for Ballon. The sound B is equivalent to the English sound B. Other examples would be Balcon, which is a balcony, and Bay, which means um, a B or at. Next, we'll go to Sia, which is for for Chinese. Sia for Chinese, which means Chinese person or Chinese language. And again, C is almost never used in Afrikaans, except for some loan words or words for foreign uh, foreign um, imported words. For example, uh, Chinese was not a part of the Afrikaans alphabet initially, and then later became one. Next word is Da. Dia is for dinosaurus which is a dinosaur, as you can see. The sound D is the same as the English sound, D. Other examples of the sound would be donkey, which is thank you, and donerdag, which is Thursday. Ear, ear is for ient, the sound E. Other examples of the sound would be enkel, or extra, or if it's in the middle of the word, badak, E. Next, we'll turn to F. F, fear, is for fits. 
The sound f is the same as the English sound f. Other examples would be fabrik, which is a factory, or fry, which is beautiful. Next is g. G is for geld. Sound g in Afrikaans is a hard guttural g. It's not the same as the English g. It's a g. This sound is one of the most challenging for English speakers to pronounce. It, it gives people a lot of trouble if they've never had to say g before. It takes a lot of practice, but later on I'll make some videos um, guiding you through the process of teaching yourself how to say g. Other examples of the sound g would be grond, which is ground or land. And the other one would be middag, middag, which is afternoon. Next, we have h or ha. H is for helicopter. The sound h is the same as the English sound h. Other examples of the sound would be hu, which means how, or hara, which means hair. Next, we've got a, uh, which is a uh, is for insect. The sound a uh, is the same as the English a. Uh. Other examples of the sound include duck, which is thick, or in andin, which means um, to either hand in or in case of. Next, we have the sound y, which is the soft j. Y is for yas. It's not the same as the English j. It is a y, y. Other examples of the sound include ya, which is yes, or yar, which is ye. Next, we have k, k, k is for cut. The sound k in Afrikaans is a hard k. It's somewhat unlike the English k. It's a, it, it's harder. It's more aspirated. K, k, cut. Other examples with the sound would be kombarj or kissen. Next we have L, which is for lemon. Lemon, now don't, don't get confused. This is a, a basically it's a minefield for English speakers because a lemon is actually an orange and not a lemon. Um, and also it confuses a lot of Afrikaans people when we speak English. So L is, is, is for lemon. The sound L in Afrikaans is the same as the English L. Other examples with, sound, with the sound include lank and loss. Lank is, t is long and loss is loose. M. M is for masker. The sound M is the same as the English sound M. M. Other examples of the sound include maag, which is a stomach, or moeilijk, which means difficult. N. N. N is for niet. That's a nut. The sound N is not the same as the English sound N. Other examples of this sound include nux, which means nothing, or near, which means no. Next we have o. O. O is for olifant. The sound o is generally the same as the English o, although it can change depending on the context, but generally speaking, it sounds the same. Other examples of this sound include omdat, which means um, because and omdraai, which means to turn around. Next we have pie. P is for penna. Uh, those are pens. The sound p is the same as the English sound p. Other examples include potluit, which is a pencil, and pluck, which means to stick. Ki. Ki is for nothing. The letter ki is almost never used in Afrikaans, and I can't think of an example. Neither could the dictionary that I was looking at. R, R, R is for robot. The sound R is different from English. In Afrikaans, we use a rolling R. The sound is probably the most confusing one for learners and takes a bit of practice if you don't have the same sound in your own in your own native language. Other examples of this sound include roy, and which means red, and rechs, which means on the right hand side. Um, what what I'll do later, the same with the G sound, I'll make some let, uh, a video that will explain to you how to properly pronounce the R sound. All right, let's turn to S. Now S is for schooner. Yeah, the S in Afrikaans is the same as the sound S in English. S. 
Other examples of the sound include soms, which means occasionally, and son, which is like sun, sun in the sky. Next, we've got tier. Tier is for train. The sound t is the same as the English sound t. Other examples of the sound include tani, which is aunt, or tot, which is until. Next, we've got u. U. U is for oi. The sound u is different from the English u. The English u goes u, u. Whereas the sound u or u in Afrikaans goes u. It's deeper and it requires a rounding of your mouth. U. Other examples of the sound include ur, which is hour, or loi, which is lazy, or to ring. Next, we've got fear. Fear is for fuel. The sound fear is not the same as the English sound v. In English, you've got very, v. In Afrikaans, you've got fear, f, f. F is like a f, I would suppose, in English. Uh, the examples of the sound is form, which is form, or frug, which is early. Next, we have v, v. V is for wortel. The sound v in Afrikaans is different from the English w. The Afrikaans v, v, English w. Other examples of the sound include Wunstag, which is Wednesday, or Vanier, which is when. Next, we've got X. X is for Silufuen. The sound X is almost never used in Afrikaans, mostly for loan words, like this weird word, Silufuen. Um, and other examples would be like X-ray, um, so on. clearly, clearly foreign uh, words. Next, we've got A. A. A is for Ace. The sound A is different from the English sound A. In English, Y makes a sound like Y, yeah, or depending on where it is in the word, if it's at the end of a word, it might make a sound like I, like my. Um, but in Afrikaans, it goes A. In Afrikaans, A is a vowel, and other examples of the sound would be Aiskas, which is French, or May, which is my. Next, we've got Z. Z is for Zeppelin, Zeppelin like a hot air balloon. Um, the sound Z is the same as the English sound uh, Z, Z, uh, Z. The letter is almost never used except in all the Dutch words or loan words. Um, all the old Dutch words tend to use um, a lot of Zs where we, do, where we use S's in Afrikaans today. Um, but you'll find them quite frequently in place names or some surnames. And that concludes it for that. Um, but we'll turn to the letter alphabet again and just quickly run through them again. So see if you have a feeling for them. Uh, now and see how they differ from English. So we've got w one by one. We've got R, which makes a sound A. Ah. We've got B, which makes a sound B. We've got C, which makes the sound S. We've got D, which makes a sound D. We've got E, which makes a sound E. We've got F, which makes a sound F. We've got G, which makes a sound G. We've got R, which makes a sound H. We've got E, which makes a sound uh. We've got ye, which makes the sound ye. Yeah. We've got ka, which makes the sound k. We've got l, which makes the sound l. We've got m, which makes the sound m. Mm. We've got n, which makes the sound n. Mm. We've got u, which makes the sound o. We've got p, which makes the sound p. We've got ki, which makes the sound ki. We've got r, which makes the sound r. We've got s, which makes the sound s. Got tier, which makes the sound t. Got u, which makes the sound u. Got fear, which makes the sound f. Got v, or the v, which makes the sound v. Let's see the difference here. We've got fear, f, v, v. Fear, f, v, v. X, which makes the sound s. Got a, which makes the sound a. Got z, which makes the sound z. That concludes it. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the uh, drop them in the comments box, and I'll uh, get get back to you. If you have any suggestions for videos that you would like to see or something that you're particularly struggling with, don't uh, don't hold up and ask. I'll see what I can do.